Hey guys, Will Patterson here again with a new Illustrator CC tutorial and can I just say a massive thank you for 3,000 subscribers now that's amazing and I love you guys so much for all the support and just subscribing I hope you guys really enjoy the content that's going to be coming out in the next few weeks okay so today I'm going to show you how I created parts of this water medallion now I wanted to create not a series but a few videos on explaining how I created this water medallion here I'm going to be doing a water medallion and a fire medallion and it's all within the Illustrator CC so a guy called Evan Ekark or I think that's his name posted a video uh, a while back talking about on showing us how he created his um, sort of like a nature medallion it was a green one and I just got inspiration from that and I just wanted to do um, a medallion that was to do with water something different so I'm going to show you how I did this um, or different parts of it so the first thing today I'm going to show you is the circle on the outside this pattern and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create these stars on the outside um, into a circle of a well, perfect circle shape and it's all to do with a few tools so we're going to go into a new document which I created over here and I'm going to go ahead and press uh, this button here or I'm going to go up to my line segment tool which is just below the pen tool we want to make sure the smart guides is on so go to view and press smart guides or press command and control U when you've got smart guides selected you should be able to see this green line in the center or down the vertical center that means that you are uh, vertically um, straight in the artboard and then we're going to go ahead and bump up the stroke a bit and I'm going to highlight this and go up to my line options and horizontally and vertically align it. And then I'm going to press Command C and Command F, which will copy the line. If I press E and hold Shift, I can move it this way. This is sort of like an advanced tutorial or an intermediate tutorial. Now then the next thing we're going to do is create these into guides. So what you want to do is you want to highlight both of these and press Command or Control 5, which will create them into guides. Now my guides are uh, dark sort of gray and if I go to my document preferences by pressing command K or going up to preferences you can see that uh, my guides over here in guides and grids are light gray and you can change them there okay so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a circle just as a guide so in the center of my guides I'm going to go ahead and make a circle just a small one because I'm not going to be finishing this and then I'm just going to call this layer main. Awesome. I'm going to go create a new layer. By pressing Command L on mine or just pressing here. Lock the main. And then I'm going to go and make probably a star. So I'm going to go to my shapes here. Hold it down. Go to my star tool. I'm going to press Command and Plus to zoom in. Just scroll up a bit. I'm just going to create a star like so. I'm going to switch the stroke and the fill so it's just the fill. And then I'm going to make sure this is aligned exactly to the outboard um, horizontally pressing the horizontal one okay I like that but we need to move it down a bit so we use my arrow keys to move it down amazing I'm going to zoom in a tiny bit more maybe zoom out a tiny bit awesome I want to highlight this because I want to bring this around the circle a few times so I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to press R um, and you have to highlight it first when you press R you want to hold alt and then go into the center of your artboard. Now you can see my cursor says center there. So I'm going to click whilst holding alt. And I get this dialog box come up. And I'm going to press preview as a start. And I'm just going to go ahead and remember where that shape was first. And then I'm going to probably move it 20 degrees. Then I'm going to press copy which will copy the shape. Now Illustrator I've got this cool feature of just like duplicating or replicating the thing you've just made. So I'm going to go ahead and press command D which will replicate it all the way around the circle that you've just made and there we go it's perfect there if I wanted to create another thing inside there I can just create a circle and I'll just move it down I know this is not exact but it should help you I'll just move that down like so and then I'm probably going to zoom in press Z and just marquee it down I'm going to just press S to scale this down a bit Awesome, I like that. That looks okay. I'm going to zoom in and out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and first off, before I do anything with the circle, I want to grab all these stars but without grabbing anything else. So the way I do this is by pressing one star and then go up to this part here, which is select similar objects. 
and then we can select all the similar objects uh, that are there and then I'm going to hold shift and take away that circle. I'm going to go ahead and press command G which will group them together and I'm going to create a new layer for my tiny circle to go up into. I'm going to call this layer below stars and then this one circles. And what, I've, what happens is it just changes color automatically and yeah so I've locked both of these layers now so you can't actually touch them to make it a bit easier for us. Okay so the next thing is I'm going to highlight this uh, little small circle and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead in the center, hold shift and then everything, sorry hold alt and then click and then everything should be still there from 20 degrees angle and a preview, copy that over and just keep pressing D till it fills in all the blanks. And there we have it. And that's how you create your pattern. And then in the main, we can take that off. Or we can put it on. And we can do whatever we want with this, actually. If we just lock these layers, we can't actually touch them. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Um, maybe, you know, do something like this to give it a border really quickly. Um, and then we can put another circle in there. And this is how you create, like, you know, circle imagery, uh, which makes it look really cool and classic. Uh, sort of medallion look so i hope you guys enjoyed that that's sort of like the starting off part but you can use this in all designs the command uh the command and d or the control d part works with any sort of effect that you've applied that makes it move and stuff you can do it with anything so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it please like the video and i'll probably be doing a speed art of a medallion soon um but speed arts take a while also if you guys have any sort of it, ideas that you want me to do leave a comment in the description and if you guys want to help me out you can go to patreon and you can be become a patron for me and that will support me and also i'll give you things in return like t-shirts if you've got any work that you'd like me to do then i'll be happy uh, to do it for you um just check my website for pricing um and all that so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video see you later